everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Lots and Orchids, my name is Elisa, let's go. First of all, I would like to say a massive, massive heartfelt thank you to Lisa from And So On. She discovered my channel on YouTube Tuesday morning, I woke up, I had 16 subscribers. I knew I was going to post a video, that was my video number four. I did it in the afternoon. By the evening, I checked and I think I had about three views. And um, one of them was from my boyfriend's stepmom. And I know that because she messaged to tell me that she watched it and I was really lovely in my video. <laughs> and it's almost like you're walking around but nobody can see you. Like you're talking to people and you're saying stuff, but it's like nobody looks at you and people look right through you. I just kept wondering why am I making these videos? Okay, I had a go, I made a couple, um, it was good fun, but who's gonna watch them? Who's interested to watch them? You know, I'm, am I wasting my time? So I've been having all these thoughts. So I'm sat in my sewing machine, sewing away, and um, I have a notification of a message comes through to me and it was from Lisa and obviously the rest is history so she recommended my channel to you guys. The next morning I woke up and I had 250 subscribers overnight and people from Australia, New Zealand, you know, America, like all over the place and I was like I was so excited. I'm I'm still quite excited. And and that's amazing. That's like 250 of you guys, or say even more now, have actually committed to watching my next video. And I was just like it's so cool. And you know, like I feel like I've got my crowd now, you know, and I've had so many gorgeous comments, like, oh my god so many of you said hello and commented and said something they liked or something they could relate to or something they want to see more of and i'm like i i, I know i know what i'm doing this is like this is amazing i know oh my god we're gonna have so much fun i have so many ideas and we're just gonna have the most fun with you guys like i can't wait just one thing i want to say to lisa lisa you're an absolute angel and and you're so graceful and so generous so grateful to you and obviously i'll put a link to her channel but i'm pretty sure all of you know where she's from because that's where you came from so i've touched on a couple of times on body type and dressing for your lines and quite a few of you guys left me messages to say we're interested, I want to know more about it, I've been trying to do the same, I've been trying to research, I've been trying to find my my style and you know what, I'm gonna make like a series of videos and I'm a bit of a nerd and I like to, <laughs> I like to make lists and um, I like to make categories and um, I just love lists, so I made a list, I made a list of all the things that we can talk about and I'm not saying by any means that I'm an expert on any of these topics I am NOT an expert but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like do my research I'm gonna tell you guys what I find and then you know I can explore more into it you can look into it that would give you some ideas on what you might like to look at or research so this, it's it's a place to start, right? So I also did something pretty cool today. <laughs> I thought of hashtag, right? A hashtag that will summarize dressing for your individual body and finding your individual style for us sewists. Because there's hundreds, you know millions of videos on out there that um, talk about finding your style and you know and body types but there is not much information about sewing for your body types and sewing 
for your individual lines and your colouring and that sort of thing. So I came up with I sew for my body and I, I looked it up and it didn't exist and I was like oh my gosh so uh, I called dibs on it on um, Instagram <laughs> I uh, created a hashtag and I put it on a picture and I tagged it so now it's ours now we can put stuff on there you know like so for example my next video I'd like to talk about colors so I thought we can all play with colors and take pictures and then tag them how cool is that right I thought me talking to you is a vlog but I want to have a conversation I want to hear what you guys want to say like I loved your comments I freaking love them you know like every comment I would receive oh God, I was getting so excited and I was like and I would respond and I was like put like hundreds of hearts and I was like oh my god I love. and then I kind of read back and I was like people will think I'm crazy but you know I'm such an excitable person you have to forgive me I can be a bit too much I think but it all comes from a good place anyway I sew for my body. I love that. Is it just me? Or is it pretty cool? Tell me. Tell me if it's lame. <laughs> we can come up with something else. Seriously guys, like we don't you know, we don't have to stick to this one. Um okay, so my next video I'm gonna go into detail on colour and contrast and talk about how we can find the colors that suit us and the colors that look good on us and how to find out what they are i was thinking about doing it today but then i looked at it and i kind of put it like a little plan together and i thought you know what no because i need examples and i need to find pictures and i need to know what those pictures are because i want to talk about it um so yes yeah, so that will be the next one or the one after the next one because i have to do my homework <laughs> this was supposed to be fun what are you doing to me oh my gosh is my um obsessive personality kicking in can't help it um the gate is open yep so after this color video i would like to make it's I think the most dreaded one that I really don't want to go wrong with and that is going to be body shapes and lines I have an idea on how to present it to you guys I'm working on it then the one after that will be about fabric and different weights hand and texture of fabric because certain fabrics will look very very different on different types of bodies and this is very important so that's another one i think that'll be pretty cool i don't want to use real people in my videos you know like i would absolutely hate to offend somebody like it would horrify me i don't know i watch a lot of videos where where you get examples of this is how you do it and this is how you don't do it they are based on celebrities or models you know or some people from the internet and i don't know i i really don't want to do that would you be bothered i don't know i wouldn't feel comfortable doing that i would feel comfortable doing it from my own examples maybe if i go into my external hard drive and dig out some maybe older pictures and maybe find something there because for you to have the full picture of what i'm talking about I mean some of you probably know it anyway but for those who don't know it and interested it's nice to have like a visual example I have to think about it the next one after that will be details and embellishments and then the last one will be self-perception and personal style I think that's the most creative one it's the most fun one I'm really looking forward to that one and then after that we can start putting things together I think I will learn a lot because I've done a little bit of work on some in some of those categories I've done quite a lot of work and research in some other categories for example 
I'm pretty solid on what colours are good for me. Very, very rarely I make mistakes these days. It took me a while. Um, so, so on my lines and my silhouettes. So I need to work on that. What do you think? Would you like that? And obviously those videos would not be coming out one after another because each of those videos I would have to do quite a lot of research for. And I'm saying research, I'm sounding like I'm a like a scientist. I just basically I just want to give you loads of nice examples. Yeah, because in my head it all makes sense, but then when I try to say it out loud it's like blah 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 that reminded me of Chandler from Friends <laughs> I don't know what else to say in regards to my interest in vintage things I don't think I manifest it as much as I fancy it I've never worn the whole outfit dress hat, gloves, shoes, bag, to be all vintage or vintage looking. I will only probably take one or maximum two things and then the rest of it will be modern. I just love listening about vintage. It just sends me to that happy place and I start smiling like an idiot, like now. <laughs> I'm. I used to listen to my grandma, um, my grandma back in Ukraine, oh, she was epic. She lived through the war um, with two small daughters, one of them my mom and then my auntie, my mom's sister. And um, she was so poor and my grandpa was fighting in the World War II. So he was away and then when he came back, they were trying to make it, you know, the economy was obviously non-existent just after the war. And um, she was actually earning money by being a seamstress. She was making clothes for people and she was like freehand cutting on a piece of fabric. Like there were no patterns back then. Um, and she used to tell me all these stories about all this oh I made such and such dress for such and such neighbor and then she tended to my garden for me for like a couple of weeks and in return yeah because people had no money all you could exchange was the skills and yeah I think I have a couple of videos of, of my grandma talking but she sadly she passed away um, a few years back now and um, I miss that and um, I was talking about it I was I was saying to one of my work colleagues and I was saying oh you know we should could have my grandma to talk about you know like all old times and sewing and and um, she said oh my grandma used to sew oh you can talk to my grandma right I said yeah okay <laughs> And I wrote a letter to her grandma, all right? Ah, uh, poor Caroline. I wrote a letter to her grandma and I told her a little story how I miss my grandma and this and that. And, um, and she wrote back to me. And obviously not her, but um, my, my friend's mom, I think she typed it out for her. And um, she scanned some pictures for me of the things that she made. And um, she told me things like she used to draft patterns and, and her dad was working as an engineer and he used to help her out and she used, used old newspaper to make patterns for like 50s dresses and new look was just in, in vogue at the time and they used to make like all these fashionable hats. Oh, and then, and then stupid epidemic came around and she stopped writing obviously because nobody's going anywhere I'm so sad yeah I'm really sad but you know hopefully um, we can resume our correspondence <laughs> I basically I'm stealing my friend's grandma <laughs> for my selfish needs is that wrong 
I'm not stealing her, I'm just borrowing. Just for like five minutes. Because she knows stuff. She can tell stories. And do you know what? If you guys can think of any stories that you can tell me from like your grandmas that you've heard from maybe war time or like all time like 40s and 50s and, and that that kind of time do tell me oh, I love this love that so much I just have this obsession I don't know why oh. anyway I just wanted to say a quick hello I think there will be a lot a lot of editing because I was talking about all sorts of random stuff and I realized that now sitting here because usually I would record and not think about it and then go and edit and think oh my god what are you talking about but now I'm talking about it and thinking what are you talking about this is like a bit more advanced level right in vlogging I knew that so um anyway I'm just gonna say goodbye to you for now and um, please do say hello in your comments I love the comments absolutely adore the comments I will promise I will answer every single comment thank you so much for coming back to watch me and welcome all my new friends I feel a bit awkward saying subscribe but you know if you like my video you're gonna do that anyway so we're good I'll speak to you soon Stay pretty. See you later.